Today in the M Vault, the Rocktron Max. The Rockron Max is a well it's a rack preamp and I think it was rather inexpensive so it might be their entry level preamp. However it's packed full of features. We have two channels. We have a clean channel with the bass and treble. Then we have a distorted channel, bass, mid, treble, level. And I hope level is gain because we're missing a gain knob here. And we have a frequency mid controller that lets us choose the frequencies from 350 Hz to 7 kHz. That's cool, MT2 vibes. Then I think this is a noise gate. However, it might be that this is the gain control for the distorted channel. And this is just the noise gate. And then we have an exciter with a phase and a mix. Never heard an exciter. So, yeah, and we have an output. On the back, we just have a foot switch input, we have an input, output, and that's it. So, let's head over to the curve. And we are currently in the clean channel. So, as you can see, we have a peak at around 3 to 4k. And when I really crank it, we produce some noise and it's really loud. So let's leave it here. So first of all, let's see if gain does anything. Nope. Okay, and those here don't do because I'm obviously not in the distorted channel. Okay, bass. Very subtle cut. And very huge boost, centered around the 200 to 170 hertz. Travel. Yes, it really pronounces those high mids and the or highs. Five to six k hertz region. Okay, does mix do anything here? As you can see, the exciter emphasizes the highs and the lows, and it creates this huge gap around 1k. And I think with the fades, we can kind of reduce and shift the gap. Okay, so that's interesting. We will keep this in mind. Okay, now for the, oh, but by the way, here I think it's just that the threshold of the noise gate is activated. So won't talk about those. Okay, distorted channel. So now gain, nope. Okay, so we have no gain control because this seems to be level. Okay. Oh, well, let's leave it full. So basically no bass, but maybe I can add some bass. That's a very broad shelf EQ. Could even cut. Okay. In case you really hate bass, use this unit. Mids. Nice little peak. And we can shift this peak up to 7 kilohertz for whatever reason.
or we can even cut it. Maybe with some more base, so you can see. Okay, so lots of tweaking options here. And one thing to do, travel. Rather subtle, <laughs> at least compared to the mids. But yeah, it seems to be a shelf as well. Okay, and now here the exciter should do the same. It creates this gap again. It doesn't emphasize the base this much. More of the highs, as you can see. And here we can do some things again. So if I really wanted to, I should. able to emphasize this mid cap even more okay um <laughs> interesting eq curve but let's find out how this unit actually sounds To admit I'm really surprised with the sound quality of this unit because uh, I got it dirt cheap without basically any negotiation it was under 100 euros and uh, what do you get you get a two channel uh, preamp and the clean channel is really really clean it sounds awesome the exciter makes it really shiny you get lots of different flavors with it uh, together with the two band EQ I don't miss any particular gain knob for the clean channel because I'm totally cool with it just being clean, no broken up sound or crunch sound or whatsoever. And this it really does cool. You can get dark tones, you can get bright tones. Awesome. The distorted channel, uh, first of all, really glad the gain control is actually a gain control. It's just uh, some weird layout. And, and the sound. 
was really brutal together with the uh, mid frequency controls uh, which basically resemble the mt2 controls kind of it's really flexible really versatile you can get lots of different nice sounds out of it and with bass and treble you have some further options to tweak the sound the exciter i don't like this much on the distorted channel because because i think it's rather putting it in a really scooped way harsh digital sounding and so that's not for me but uh, maybe just a little bit and then tweaking with the face or so but uh, for me this is definitely a surprise a really cool surprise i might want to call it hidden gem not sure and uh, this is Actually, uh, especially cool since I also reviewed the Rockron Zombie a while ago and this pedal was also a really big surprise. So maybe I should look further into Rockron's lineup. Anyways, what do you think about the Max and do you own any Rockron products in general? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, check out the links in the description. And with that said, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the force be with you and... Have a nice day.